Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spare Tech and welcome back to the channel. And I know I sound horrible because I've actually been sick for the past week and a half and I ended up losing my voice. But but even though I was bedridden for a while, I was still able to play around with the little side project that I had, which is trying to power this handheld device, this little mini PC right over here, uh, using a battery. So that's what we're going to be checking out today. Now, one of the things I love about this is just the prototyping process of trying to figure out what makes things work. My objective is to get this lithium battery to power a mini PC like this or the handheld device that you've seen before, which is this board right over here. And to make sure things work, we just have to test it out. Now, I do have this DC to DC step up converter, and it's very fun to play around with because you could take a battery like these 18650s or this lithium battery from 3.7 volts all the way up to, I think this is rated to 28 volts or 29 volts, but you can ad adjust it with the potentiometer that's right over here. And yeah, you could basically test anything you want and step it up. Now, a lot of these mini PCs that I have, which is this one or the Zima board or the Zima blade or the handheld device that we're playing around with, they're all 12 volts. So it's a very easy voltage to play with. They're 12 volts DC and that's about it. Now I do have another mini PC over here. This is also 12 volts, but unfortunately this is four amps. So I'm not gonna be able to push something that high, but all these other ones I can play around with. What I ended up buying was this little board, which has a TP4056 lithium ion battery charger on there. So I'll be able to actually charge one of these batteries or any of these 18650s using a USB-C port. And it also has a DC to DC step up. So basically with this potentiometer right over here, the POTS connector, you can push the voltage from 4.2 volts, I think the lowest, all the way up to 28 volts. And with this little tiny converter, I'm able to actually power these mini PCs. Everything on this board is pretty self-explanatory. You do have the battery input right over here, then the voltage output over here. If you turn the board over, you actually have these pads as well for input voltage and then output voltage over here. Now I did already solder stuff over here that gives me the connector that I need to these pads over here. And I made a little pinout that will actually directly connect to the UE2 board but I haven't tested it yet because I, I haven't been able to play around with that. But I was able to test this with a battery and other boards. So what I have over here is just a pigtail for uh, the battery connection. And I'm gonna plug this into like a barrel connector so I can show you what it looks like when I power one of these uh, boards. All right, so with everything properly connected, I do have this to a barrel connector that I have right over here, which will supply 12 volts. And then it's connected to the battery off to the side over here. And all I have to do now is just connect the barrel connector to the Zima board. And the barrel is a little bit small, so it is a little finicky. And you can see, it'll actually light up this board. I'm just holding pressure against the barrel connector because I think this is a 5.5 millimeter barrel and I only have a five. And it is powering up. I don't have a monitor connected to it, but this is all battery powered right now. The battery is powering this little buck device and then it's just sending the signal over to the Zima board and that's about it. So that means, yeah, this whole thing is pretty easy to set up. Now I'm gonna take this out and plug it into another battery connector right over here. And this one goes right in perfectly. And all I have to do is just press the power button and here we go. I don't know if you could see that. Let me see if I can focus that. And you see the blue light right over here which is powering a little mini PC uh, that uses only 12 volts. Again, these little devices don't take too much to power and I'm able to power with this. And this outputs only one amp, which is still powerful enough to run the mini PCs and that mini PC as well. My next plot is to get this to power the handheld device that we have right over here. Unfortunately, right now, it kind of like jitters. So let me show you what's going on. If I was to take out this barrel connector, and plug this into this device. I don't know if you could see that. It'll jitter. Now the voltage doesn't drop when I plug this in, so it leads me to think it's not enough uh, output, or the screen is drawing um, this power device, because if everything is disconnected, I will, I'm able to power it, but I think the screen is somehow drawing more than it's needed. So I'm gonna to have to figure out that part as well. Well, that is it. If you guys have extra batteries laying around like these 18650s or these lithium ion batteries, 
and you wanted to do or make some use out of it, you can pick up these buck converters. They actually sell them in a uh, higher amperage. So I only got one amp, which I should have picked up a two amp or a three amp or something higher, but you can purchase these in higher amperage. But again, it also depends on what type of batteries you have. Some batteries will not take up to that amperage. So you do have to play around with it. Now, here's another thing. Um, it doesn't work without a battery connected. So when you do have the charger connected, and you don't have a battery connected, the voltage won't really pass through correctly. So you won't be able to power the mini PCs while this is connected. But if you do have a battery connected and it is uh, connected to a Vifold charger, it will power the mini PCs and I, it almost bypasses the battery because my battery stays full when it's connected uh, while powering the mini PCs. Anyway, that is it for me guys. I know it's a short little video. It's just something I've been playing around with and it's very interesting if you guys want to power your home devices or something like that. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are probably doing something similar to this. So if you guys know of another type of connector similar to this that is a lot of fun to play with, let me know down in the comments below. Anyway, that is it for me. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And that's same my Nerd Cave. Hack till it hurts.